God's workers need God's faithful people to support them. Some of us are called to go, but some of us are called to send them out and care for them. And because Paul had people like that, he was able to spread the gospel to many cities and nations. The support of God's people was crucial for him as he experienced extensive persecution and challenges throughout his missionary journeys. His travels were marked by repeated opposition, physical suffering, imprisonment, legal challenges, and significant hardships. Verse 13 shows us that like Paul, like him, in the way he was content, you will be content also, I will be content when we have Christ and His strength. You will only be truly satisfied in life when you know Jesus and He's your fuel. Friends, by looking to God, we look away from ourselves and from all others for strength. We humbly acknowledge our inadequacies before Him, and in doing so, we completely rely on Him. When we say we look exclusively to the Lord, it does not diminish our communion with the saints. I believe it amplifies all the more. Because you see that the both of you as saints cannot satisfy the needs of each other. That's why the only option that we have is to turn and look our eyes to the one who can keep us together. If you're not a believer, I urge you to stop from journeying on your own. If you're, if you're a non-Christian in this room, you have chosen a different path. Friends, that would lead you to destruction. That is because of your sin. You will not go too far because judgment and condemnation is upon you. So here's a little advice. Drop everything. Drop everything and start walking in the Lord through repentance and faith. Acknowledge your need for Yahweh. He can keep you because He has proven Himself on the cross. He has defeated sin and His enemies. The tomb is empty, which means He is victorious and triumphant. And He has provided everything that you need. His providence is sure. Your own good. Will you join Him in this path?